Zachary Taylor, the 12th President of the United States, born in Virginia in 1784. His presidency, which lasted from 1849 until his untimely death in 1850, it was his remarkable military record that caught the attention of the American people. Taylor rose through the ranks and became known for his leadership and bravery on the battlefield. Taylor pursued policies aimed at maintaining peace with Native American tribes and preserving their rights, promoting a more humane approach compared to previous administrations. Taylor supported California's admission to the Union as a free state, which contributed to the balance of power between free and slave states. Taylor's presidency brought a significant influx of settlers and economic growth to the region. Zachary Taylor's military legacy left an indelible mark on American history. His bravery, leadership and dedication to duty serve as a reminder of the qualities we value in our leaders. Zachary Taylor, from Battlefield to Oval Office. James K. Polk, the 11th President of the United States. Born in North Carolina in 1795, Polk had a strong focus for the country during his presidency from 1845 to 1849. He was known for his commitment to expanding the country's territory and securing its interests. Polk advocated for the Walker Tariff, which reduced import duties and promoted free trade, stimulating economic growth. President Polk successfully negotiated the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, which ended the Mexican-American War and secured vast territories, including California, New Mexico, Nevada, Utah, Arizona, and parts of Colorado and Wyoming, greatly expanding the United States. Polk negotiated the Oregon Treaty with Great Britain. The treaty established the 49th parallel as the border between the two nations, securing the majority of the Oregon Territory for the United States. Polk prioritized the modernization and expansion of the U.S. Navy. Polk's presidency coincided with the California Gold Rush. James K. Polk, Shaping a Nation John Tyler, the 10th President of the United States Born in 1790 in Virginia, Tyler served as president from 1841 to 1845. He assumed office after the sudden death of President William Henry Harrison, making him the first vice president to succeed to the presidency. Tyler signed the Tariff of 1842, which aimed to protect American industries from foreign competition. One of the key accomplishments of Tyler's presidency was the annexation of Texas. He played a crucial role in securing the admission of Texas as a state in 1845, expanding the territorial boundaries of the United States. He advocated for a strict interpretation of the Constitution and opposed excessive federal authority. Tyler was the only president to serve without a vice president throughout his entire term. After leaving office, Tyler actively supported the secession of Virginia and served in the Confederate House of Representatives during the Civil War. John Tyler from Vice President to President. Thank you for watching. Subscribe now at American Presidential History. Stay updated with the latest videos. Follow at American Presidential History for more content and shorts. Like, share, and support the channel's growth. Subscribe now. www.youtube.com American Presidential H History. Welcome to American Presidential History. Dive into the captivating world of U.S. presidents through engaging stories that bring their lives, legacies, and the times they lived in vividly to life.